Hello, my name is Saga and I am a visual effects tutor at Escape Studios. So in this video, we'll be looking at the rule of thirds in previs. The rule of thirds is a technique used in photography and filmmaking. So imagine dividing your shot into a grid with evenly spaced lines, both for, uh, vertically and horizontally. Now what we do is we place the important ele elements of your scene at the points where these lines intersect. So we can see from this example from the movie Whiplash. And notice how we frame for the subject's head in the top third. And also in Interstellar, we frame for the car on the bottom third. And a shot from uh, Sky 4. And then we were framing Tom Cruise on the bottom third. However, these shots are tracking shots, but we still maintain a framing throughout our shots. This method is believed to make our visuals more appealing to the viewers by enhancing the overall composition of the shots. So we've got some mocap animation here um, from Mixamo. Um, and the idea is that we want to create several shots, camera animation shots. Uh, we want to work at speed because we can then present a couple of ideas to the director. And I'm going to show you kind of my workflow that I use to kind of really crank out shots uh, when I'm creating previews. Let's have a look at the camera animation I have created. So I want to create a shot for this action, but I want to use as few keyframes as possible. So Maya has a fill chart, uh, and the fill chart works as a nice grid that can be used for visually aligning elements. But what I've used is a, uh, I've created an image plane, and in the image plane I've piped in a PNG with transparency. Let me show you now. And you can find this on the internet, which is kind of an image with the thirds kind of mapped out, red lines. And you can use the alpha gain from zero to one to turn this guide on and off. It's just a little bit cleaner than using the uh, fill chart. So playing back through the animation, you can see that my character is nicely positioned and is within the first third of the frame. So now that we have our character roughly positioned, in part two, I'm going to delete all the animation keyframes and begin animating the camera. <laughs> 